Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I'm going to show you how to merge tables in Excel using Power Query. Here I have the sales data for July 2018 and you can see I have the date, item, sales rep, quantity, price and commission columns here. Now I also have a product ID for each item. So you can see I have these items here but I also have the product ID in a separate table. And similarly, for each of these sales rep, I also have a region attached to it. So Laura operates in the US, Stacy operates in Canada and so on. Now, if I want to create a pivot table and get the data of how many of these product IDs are sold in July 2018, I cannot simply use this table because this table doesn't have the product ID data. Similarly, if I want to know how many of the printers are sold in each region, then I cannot use only this table because it doesn't have the region data in it. So what I want to do is I will have to combine these tables. Now one way of combining this is that I insert a new column here and then I use VLOOKUP or INDEX MATCH to map these tables. So for example here I can insert a column and then I can map printer to the product ID. So it will fetch KL001 whenever there is a an occurrence of printer and whenever there is whiteboard it would fetch KL002. I can use those formulas and similarly I can use formulas to get, get the region but the problem with it is that it changes the structure of the data. So for example in August 2018 if I get a new table I can simply copy paste it if this is not changed but if the data has been changed I cannot copy paste the new data. I will have to modify the data or copy individual columns and that might lead to extra work. So what I can do with Power Query is without changing these data, these tables, I can combine these by merging these. So let me show you how to do this. I would select any cell here because these are already an Excel table. I can open this in Power Query. If these are not tables, you would first have to convert this into an Excel table. So here I go to data and I would click on from table range. This would open the data in the query editor and I have this data here. Now you can check the data types. I'm okay with the data types here. Maybe what I can do is change the date data type from date time to date. And now I can save this as a connection. There is no point in loading this uh, in the workbook because uh, this would just lead to duplication of data. What I need to do is save this as a connection. So I would go to file, close and load to, and in the import data dialog box, I would select only create connection. And now I can click OK. So you can see it saves the query as a connection only, which means that I can use this in Power Query, but it doesn't appear in my workbook. And the name of this is sales underscore data, which is the same as that of the table name in this case, which is sales underscore data. Now, because I want to combine this table with these two tables, I also need to create connections for these two tables. So I would click anywhere here, go to data from table. This is the data here. I would go to file, close and load to only create connection. So it creates a connection here with the name product ID. And then I can come here, click here, go to data from table range. And then I can create a connection for this too. So now I have these three connections. Now let me show you how to merge these three. Now you can only merge two at a time. So what we, we are going to do is first merge the sales data with the product ID table. So here I would go to data, get data and in combined queries I have this option merge and see what's the difference between merge and append. In append you are actually getting the data one below the other. So I had similar data structures and I was getting these data one below the other. But in case of merge there would be new columns that would be added because we are merging these two tables. So I'd go to get data, combine queries, merge it'll open this merge dialog box and here I need to select the tables, the queries that I want to merge. So the first one here would be sales data and the second one would be product ID. Now you can see as of now I cannot merge these tables because I will have to tell Power Query what is the connecting link between these two. So if I show you this table here, you can see the connecting link here is the item because item is what is unique in this table. So if I'm using a formula, I would be using item to map the product ID in this table. So in this case, because item is the connecting link, I would have to select item column in both of these cases. And when I select these, 
you can see it says the selection has matched 441 out of the first 441 rows now there are different kinds of merge that you can do so you can see in join kind drop down there are different kinds of merge in most of the cases you will have to work with the first one which means that it will have all the records in the first table and it would give you the matching value from the second table so it says all from first matching from second if you choose the second one it says all from first sorry the second one is all from second matching from first which means it will match all the give you all these records and give you the matching records from the first table in most of the cases it's a good idea to have the bigger table the one in which you want to match uh, here at the top and the column that you wanted to insert here uh, that item be in the second table now there are all these other options also but in this case we just need to worry about the first one because this is what we want and now when i click ok see what happens it opens the query editor and here this is the first table but it has added this additional column here with this table here and you can expand this so if i click on any of these table here, you can see it gives me the item here for the matching record so the my matching item my matching column here was printer so it's giving me the records for printer now i can click on this double pointed arrow and it will ask me what columns from the second table do you want now i already have the column for item so i don't want the item column i only want the matching product id and i don't want to use the original column name as prefix so i would uncheck this and now when i click ok see it has the product id column and it's giving me all the matching id so for printer it's giving me kl001 and for whiteboard kl002 and so on now i can drag and i can put this here right after the item column so you can see instantly we have merged this and it has not changed the underlying data it's exactly the same now i can come here close and load to and if i want to i can load this in the workbook but i'll not do that i would save this as a connection for now so let me close and load to and only create a connection you can see it creates merge one if you want you can give a more descriptive name here the reason i've created it as a connection is because i now want to merge the new table with this one here with the region so i would again go to data get data combine queries merge and in this case i would use the merge table here merge uh, connection here because this is one where i already have the product id and the second one here would be region and now again the connection in this is sales rep so i would select sales rep here and i would select sales rep here and now this one is already selected which is all from first and matching from second and now when i click ok see what happens again it opens the same the, this is the merge connection table and i have a new column with the name region and when i click on it it asks me what columns do you want i don't want sales rep because it's already there and i don't want the prefix and now when i click ok it inserts region one here and now i can simply drag and put region one here bef after sales rep if you want to change the name you can change this to region and now i can close and load this data so when i click on close and load it will insert a sheet and you can see it inserts this data here now i can create a pivot table using this data and i can get all the data points or all the summary uh, data that i wanted so if i show it to you i will go to insert pivot table and you can see here if i want i can get the sales so let's say if i want to know the quantity by product id i can get it so you can see in this case while i don't have the matching data in this table because i've connected these i've merged these i can create a pivot table to know the product id and get the quantity for each or for example if i don't want this i can get let's say region wise total quantity sales or i can get a region wise these products sold. so in asia how many of these uh, products are sold and in canada how many products are sold so this is how you can easily merge tables in excel using power query and then with the merged data you can create pivot tables that are that are more useful and can give you a better summary that's it in this video i hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day